I don't, man. You don't cook either, do you? I don't. See, that's the thing You're with these kind women of in there. <laughs> well, we're just tacking. We're just rapping. We're yeah, rapping. We're, we're just rapping. We're just messing we're just with rapping, you. We're just rapping, man. Yeah. She so, said all this sexism. I, I, yeah, it's true. I'm going to give you a scripture and tell well, me you're if young, this sounds sexist. You grew up in a world that you, been, you taught to be. Well, she's used to. I'm going to get this scripture and ask me if this sounds sexist, okay? Right. Yeah, don't be scared. Yeah, we ain't jumping on you. We ain't gonna threaten you. Anybody gonna physically hit you? So you ain't gotta run off, man. Like I said, we up for rap. We rap. I like a nigga to rap. Yeah, we're not like these other men you see out here. Okay, most of these men at, today they have an effeminate spirit. Now, if you see the roles have been reversed in the world, so the the man is now the new woman and the woman's the new man. This whole society's been turned upside down. That, that's why they want to put women in combat roles in the military now. You're there. Which is not, you don't want women, you know, you're not supposed to put your women out in danger like that, you know? All right, what now, you got? Go first, first, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 14, 34. Let your woman keep silence in the church, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. Is he, is he reading the scripture? But they are commanded to be under obedience. Now your preacher does not going to read that scripture. As also says the he'll, law. Probably not because it's, it's bad for business. It could hurt his pocket. Did, you know? no, did that sound? That that did that he, did, did like your preacher read that scripture to you? I would think that it sounds like it's applying to the culture of that time. That culture of that time? Yeah. What so the culture of that time was the Bible. So you're right actually because there's more believers back then than there is now. So are you saying that you believe that? Like women should well, it's, I believe everything in the Bible. Everything in the because yeah. women, so we don't hate women. We just, we believe in order, okay? We believe in the natural order of things. We don't believe to beat the shit out of women and treat them bad. Right, right. You know what I mean? To right. take care of our women. That's right. That's in how the society, the society is made so that we can't take care of them. Yeah, exactly. You can't you know? take care of your woman. Here you go, check this out. This is Isaiah 13. This is Isaiah, Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance. Changed the ordinance. It's completely legal to commit adultery in America. You know that? That's one of the Ten Do you believe in the Ten Commandments? You believe that's sacred? No, I do. The Ten Commandments is the ten most, that's the commandments God gave to him, us himself. He spoke these commandments himself. Okay, and one of those commandments says, "Thou shalt not commit adultery." In America, a woman gets rewarded for adultery. She can, well, no, no, more so a woman, because women can commit adultery, say five times, get five different baby daddies, collect child uh, support on each one of those men, alimony, Section Eight, food stamps, all rewards for committing adultery. That's right. Yeah, but also men can. Well, of course, not men are most women. these men are homosexuals or bisexuals. That's they, why he told you that the men now and not do anything. And well, that's not, why he told you. That's course, why he right. told you that. On both sides. You're, you are correct. That's why he told you the new man is a woman and the new woman is a man now. Yep. There's role reversals. Now, but the Lord, when he comes with those third more nuclear missiles, going to change it. Yeah, now, now a woman has to go to work every day. A woman shouldn't be out working every day. A woman shouldn't have to do nothing. You know what I mean? It's not a woman's place to be working like that. Raise the kids. She's she not, the kids. You're not even physically built to work hard like a man. A man's body can endure that physical punishment every day. Mentally too. Yep. A woman can't mentally take it going to work every day. That's why they want all those psychotic drugs. Because a all woman. Right. Oh, you lost. We have a good night. <laughs> yeah, we lost. We knew that. The woman is fragile. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. You're supposed to treat her with care. You can't even conversate with these women because they, they get broken down. They do get broke down quick. That's you know? two in a row. <laughs> That's right. Baby, we got some fine ass hoes coming out talking to us. That's right. You uh, waving goodbye, you didn't wave back. Uh, she she shouldn't give me no numbers, so I don't care. That's all we really want, man. A woman, yeah, as you can see, there's two women in a row. They can't get it. Only thing a woman can do, man, y'all just, I just. <laughs> only thing a woman can do is be a woman and cook that shit, well, make us garments. Cook. They can't they cook though. She said she don't cook, nor do she sew. But I'm saying they need to learn that shit. Right. But what does she mean? do then? She ain't doing either one of those. She can't do nothing but provide a good piece of ass. That's it. <laughs>
She didn't even look me. like she was that she's hot. She's a lesbian. She probably is a lesbian. She's probably eating pussy. She probably got a dog licking her but coochie. But she was getting mad. Got a dog licking her, yeah. But a woman, she was getting mad when we saying women shouldn't work. I mean, shouldn't you be happy that you ain't got to work? Women shouldn't work. Yeah, women should not work. They had no business in the workplace. Yeah, these hoes is running around crazy. They bugged run around, out. yeah, bugged, bugged out their damn mind, man. Look at this one right here. Bugged out. They think they running shit, man. These fucking dumb assholes ain't running nothing. Or they just being used by the white man to control everybody else, man. These dumb ass people. They use a woman to control the man. It's just simple. What do you call that? Uh, social engineering. You know, what's funny is these, these dumb bitches, they actually think the laws really don't apply to them. They really it applies more to us than it does to them, man. They crazy, man. Here you go. Uh, and, yeah, if, so like, these women, they should be begging to fucking for us to take their asses home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all that, that's all. You can't teach a woman the Bible. Only can teach them, only thing you can teach them is this is my number. That's it, man. <laughs> yeah, right, right. It's the only thing. Just like, put program this in your phone. Get that. They can remember that. Try to talk to these women. You know, just close the, yeah. close the Bible and talk to them regularly. Like, they'll listen to you then. Yeah, they're, they're, no, yeah. That's when woman always tells you, uh, I, I want to know what you think, not the Bible. Yeah, just right. Tell me what's in your heart. Hey, here's a message for these dumb bimbos. I hate these bitches. This is on Deuteronomy 17 and 2. If there be found among you within any of the gates which thy Lord, thy power giveth thee, man or woman, man or woman, that have wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord, thy power, is that in his, his covenant. Yep. I'll keep going. That's all I wanted. No, I'll keep that. going on that. You want me to keep going? Yeah. Okay. And have gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either sun or moon. Well, when you're going to these churches, you worship another Jesus. That ain't the Jesus in the Bible. Okay. You know, that, yeah, that's that Caesar Bozier Jesus. That, that's that Jesus, the damn the devil. That's the church Jesus. That ain't the real Jesus. Okay, that's the devil. That's who that is. All these people, they worship the devil. They celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Easter. And they teaching all this bullshit, man. And they worship the devil. Uh, read that again. That's another God. That's a strange God. That's not the God of the Bible. Other Jesus. Yeah, the other Jesus. I'm going to get that too. Yeah, that's a bad scripture, man. Because that, Jesus, that, that messes yeah. people's mind up when yeah. we give them the scripture, man. Because we gave it to a few people out here. They didn't know the scriptures was in here, man. We used to blow people away with the scripture, man. And shut them up. Yeah. Because I remember, I seen people's mouths. They got quiet. Huh? They didn't know how to come back on that. Yeah, read the rest of that one. Okay, Deuteronomy uh, 17 and 3. Um, and have gone and served other gods and worship them, either the sun or moon. Oh yeah, they're talking about they always they worship the god of love. Who is that? Aphrodite? They worship Aphrodite. Ain't that a goddess of love? Uh, That's who they worship. That's not the god of the the god of the Bible is not the god of love. Okay, I can assure you. It ain't y'all worship Cupid or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not the god of the Bible. The god of the Bible is a god of love and death and destruction. Okay. He brings peace and he creates evil. Go ahead with that or any of the host of heaven, which I have not commanded. Now, all these, yeah, these bitches, they worship the stars. The, the woman's the main reason they got a horoscope on in the newspaper on Yahoo. Yeah. You get on Yahoo, they got the horoscope. 